guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steph Jackson. If this channel seems helpful to you, please hit like and subscribe down below. I wanna talk about three things that I would do differently if my mom has another fall. So it happened to us. Doesn't matter how much fall prevention that you get with the waistband and the grippy socks and making sure that you have your house evaluated to see if the walkways are clear, it doesn't matter. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, and it did to me. When I look back, there are three things that I would do much differently based on talking with the hospice nurses, based on talking with my friends, and also doing some research online. First thing I would change is I would give my mom a moment on the floor sitting there to just pause and take a breath. You know, my first response is to run over and to try and pick her up as quickly as possible and get her in a chair. My mom wasn't hurt. However, a lot of people are when they have these falls. So I needed to really slow the situation down and make sure that she could be moved at that moment. For some falls, you don't wanna move that loved one at all. You wanna keep them right there until the EMT can get there. Which brings me to my second thing that I would do differently next time. Again, first response was to get her up into a chair as quickly as I could. My husband came over to one side of my mom, I was on the other side, and we basically pulled her arms up so that she could get into the chair. It worked for us at the time, however, looking back, I probably really could have hurt my mom. I could have pulled out her shoulder, I could have broken her arm if I grabbed her arm, or as I've heard recently, if I tried picking her up by her waist, I could have broken her rib. Sometimes I think we do more harm than good when we're trying to help our loved one to get up from a fall. So if that happens again, there are proper techniques for helping somebody get up I'm going to attach some links down below that will tell you how to properly help your loved one up from a fall. From what I've read, the proper way is to roll your loved one over to one side, have a chair next to them, have them use the chair as an anchor to pull themselves up, and then turn around and sit down. Again, there are articles down below so that you can check it out and you can research it on your own. The last thing I would do differently with my mom is I would have called her hospice nurse right away. So I thought, She's not injured, she's okay, she seems to be fine, no need to call. A Couple of days later when the nurse visited and I told her about the incident, the one thing that she said was, we have to make sure that we have that information in her chart. It's kind of a game changer once someone has a fall, it makes them very susceptible to having another fall in the future. So my recommendation is to contact your medical professional, whether it's your doctor or your hospice nurse, and let them know that your loved one has had a fall so that they can chart it and everybody can be in the know in the future. I have to say, it was really scary when my mom fell. It shook up her, it shook up me. And it's just a reality of this role that we're in as caregivers. Sometimes we're not gonna make the best decisions and that's why it's so important to stop and reflect back and think through different dilemmas that you might encounter ahead of time before it happens. I hope you find this video helpful. As always, stay strong, stay grateful, and stay present. I'll see you next time.